have the graph y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 as shown. And then we're trying to solve x squared minus 3x plus 1 by drawing a straight line and uh, looking at where it crosses. Now, if we had x squared minus 4x plus 3 and we say drew a straight line y equals, I don't know, 5x plus 7, then if we set them equal to one another algebraically, it would find out where they intersect. And then we could actually rearrange this equation. I could minus 5x and I could minus 7. And in fact, it would also solve this equation here. So basically, that's what we're trying to do in this question. We're almost trying to, st well, not almost, we are trying to start with the equation we want to solve and somehow get x squared minus 4x plus 3 on the left-hand side. So if we minus x from both sides, that will help. So it will equal minus x on the right-hand side instead of 0. And I just want to add 2 on. So that will give me plus 3, and it will be plus 2. So in fact, this is the line I want to draw. y equals minus x plus 2, and therefore m is going to equal minus 1, because there's, that's what the minus represents, and c is going to equal 2. Right, next up, we're actually basically asked to draw this so that we can find the roots of this equation. Okay. Um, well, it's going to have a y-intercept of 2 and a gradient of minus 1. We can also use the x-intercept. If you set y equal to 0 and solve, it's going to give x equals 2. So we're going to get, if you get these two, then actually you can just draw the straight line straight away. Like so. Of course, you could go down the more traditional route of using the gradient, going along 1 and down one and so on if you prefer. But that's going to be it. Now we're just left to find uh, basically the points at where they cross. So there's one here. I draw a careful line down. That will give me one solution. 0 0.4. Or there's another one here. At 2.6. And I think you'll be expected to give those two exact values because we're given the quadratic originally. It's not like you draw on your own and the straight line should be pretty much spot on how I've drawn it. All right, finally, we're asked to do some shading to find the regions where all four inequalities are satisfied. So first up, x is greater or equal to zero. x equals zero is a straight line that basically goes through the y-axis. Let me put it on there. And while I'm at it, x equals 4 is vertical and going up here through 4. I just missed it, so there we go. Better. Now we've got that x is greater than 0, so it's everything to the right of this line. And x is less than or equal to 4, so it's everything to the left. And uh, it's a solid line, by the way, because it can, it can equal um, 0 or 4 respectively as well. Okay, good, so at the moment we've got like all of this region here, but we haven't used all of them yet, all the inequalities. Next up, y is less than or equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. So that is drawn on the graph. y is less than, so it's going to be below. And then y is greater than the y y is greater than the mx plus c that we found originally, so it's actually above this straight line here. Okay, and if we put that all together, that will give us our region. We're going to get this bit here, and there is a little bit here as well. Don't forget about that, a little sneaky region on the left as well as this larger one on the right. So I might just label it r and kind of point at it, but I feel like that should be clear enough. Um, R indicates region. Okay, good question.